everything. We have everything and we have nothing. Sometimes you can't let go of nothing. From dark dreams to sad things, she believed the world was a hopeless place. Behind her eyes, she said something to me. Guess what she said? A heart of nothing, a soul of being poor, broken. She wanted to make it, but sometimes you hold on so tight when what you are holding on to is actually exactly what you should be letting go of. And it's not the happy memories that hurt, but the sad ones. Move on and know one thing. We can survive our emotions. The inscription on the Temple of Apollo reads, Know yourself. Sometimes, don't be sad. Sometimes, get ready. Because the bright new beginning is about to start. Sometimes, I feel like crying and never stopping. Take me. I don't want to wake up. Remembering pain, I wish I knew my mum. She died when I was born and left me. Sometimes you can't let go. Sometimes when you hold on tight, sometimes what you're holding on to is exactly what you should be letting go of. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. I can't stop. I can't stop thinking about you, though it may her. Nothing makes sense. Let's forget that time exists. I have nothing to say. You got me so high. Now leave me the fuck alone. I woke up, I was crying in my sleep. Don't even know where to start. Everything seems so shit now. Stuck in a hole that's getting deeper so far down that I think everything is going to cave in, everything is going to collapse and I'll get buried under the weight of all this stuff and you'll get buried with me and we'll all get buried together. The hole will be covered in with all this stuff and no one will find us and after a while everyone will give up looking, everyone will give up caring about me, about us, about everything. Just sitting in the fucking car now, round the back of the shops, my back hurts. My eyes are sore, pussy and running, stinging from looking at the screen of the silver dream machine. They're old now, I'm old now. Been here since 64, seen so many things, felt everything. Shame, jealousy, love, hate, anger, greed, strong, weak, alone, sad, happy, rich, poor, spiritual, negative, fit, fat like a pig, lovable, unlovable. And look now, all I see is misery. It's pouring, I mean really, really pouring with cold, wet March rain. It's torrential, end of world stuff heads bowed at the people walking home but then a couple smiling and chatting two girls come out from the gym sweating sweating in the rain big red gym duck titty boys red faces deliveroo and just eat bikes waiting on the corner sheltering all wrapped up from the cold the wet buses though with empty gormless faces pass by the misery the drudgery of monday the soulless day, cloudy, wet, cold March, when even the bright yellow golden daffodils seem dull, in a stone-walled urban brick concrete flower bed, petals turning to mush. Download the app to park, fitness centre, even the signs are so boring, so grey, that you feel like you'd be better off dead, trees with no leaves, no colour, no sign of life, Guy with a massive bald head that looks like the moon. No energy, no spirit, just hopeless days of nothing. The pointlessness of everything. 
You could put the sea here, golden sands, palm trees, the bright warm sun. I don't think anyone would notice though. The architecture is only good for throwing yourself off of. And everyone has a fucking rucksack. A rucksack full of shit that weighs you down, that pains your shoulders. And your back is in a state of continuous pain. It's Tuesday now, it's been raining all morning, it's been raining forever. Sitting in a bar at noon, having a Guinness, looking out the windows. As people struggle along in the torrential piss. Four mums come in with four brand new bubbers. All just months old. Maybe friends through birthing natal clinics. One says, fuck off. Even though they are posh liberal mums, coffee drinkers, talking about prams and their partners being sentimental. Stool sitting is so fucking uncomfortable. I watch my car in case the parking warnings come along. It's still raining, my eyes are still sore, my leg hurts, the quad muscle has been strained. I feel tired painting a woman, smoking drugs. Bitch, we fell out, says one of the mums. She's the kind of person that will kick off, then come back and say sorry. What about the kisses? What about the cuddles? Yeah, but we do hold hands. She explains that her lawyer girlfriend is starting to care less about her. Strange how she's telling everyone. Must be coming to an end, otherwise, why would she tell everyone? Sitting in a car now, just been Tesco, gonna make some dal. Cheap, 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 cheap like chicken. I don't feel hungry these days. I only eat porridge and wheat bix Played so well last night at football. It's incredible. It's incredible that it's so important. Important in my life. I told my therapist that football means everything to me. Simon's on the phone telling me about divorced children at the Bernie Inn. I'm in fucking tears. I'm not at the Oscars. I saw Mark Ronson who wrote the song for Barbie walking down Peckham. I'm a fucking loser looking for toy cars. I've never even owned a car. Creativity without business. Remember when you start working in McDonald's, YBAs, Florence and the fucking machine, played by the state, being drippy art students. I said I was mental. I said I'm suicidal. Same thing with my bad feet. Doctor said put a tin can under your feet. Everybody is dying around me. Rishi and Starmer are probably having sex right now. Gavin Turk has a show on Thursday. He steals my ideas. I have a drink, come back to Winchester. My mum doesn't love me. It's not nature, it's nurture. Justin Trudeau, real father, had an orgy at Fidel Castro's. They poked each other. They are swingers. I make dar while listening to him tell me about Barack Obama. I need to lie down, I need to sleep. It's so cold, I can't afford to put the heating on. So I get into bed, freezing cold siesta. I put on Charles B and listen to everything. Lying in my bed again, it's Wednesday morning, going to go down to the Bethlehem. Too cold to get up though. Wish I had someone to bring me a bowl of porridge. I'm coughing, feeling sick, bringing up phlegm. I go downstairs, eat four wheat bix and take four ibrufen for my sore leg. Julie Verhoeven is coming today. I can hear the bin lorry and the bin men dragging out the recycling, the philosophy of Armageddon, Norton told me. It should be reused as recycling gives everyone the permission to keep throwing, keep using it all away. Thinking about my gang boss painting series from yesterday, more shit painting. I can do better, it's 8.42. Stay in bed for half an hour more and I start crying again. The pain of living, the pain of life, the pain of death, the pain of lost love, the pain of age, the pain of this fucked up world. It was nice the other day when she was in my bed keeping me warm, but she left in a hurry, had to get home. I like being alone though. I got used to it now. In the end, there is only you. My best friend, my duvet, the continental quilt. When we were little, there were only blankets. There are no blankets anymore though. My duvet is everything, it's comfort, keeps my body, my bones warm. I'm sitting in a writing group, everyone is here, please wash your hands. What's the rhythm, what's the imperative? Making a zine, Bethlehem Writing Collective blends into Julie arriving in the afternoon art class. I love this place, I belong here, 
My heart is here, feeling weak but dreamy. It's so extraordinary, these feelings come over me in waves. Suddenly it's over, time passes, everything is speeded up. Everyone's faces, all in the classes I've ever sat. There is no other like this one. I could die here, throw my ashes on these grounds. 200 acres, the Bluebell Woods. Sitting with mum, EastEnders is on, wrapped up in a blanket, feet up. This beautiful, soft, courageous, caring, fair, frail, vulnerable, still as hard as any Irish woman who's ever lived. Knuckles, the size of baby potatoes. Hands, body is wiry and strong. She could still move a mountain if she had to. She would try. They don't build people like this anymore. Annie Mary Kathleen with the brown curly hair, cut turf red, cows and sheep. Iron shirt, sent out as a slave at the age of 11. Collapsed in the yard. They walked over her, but she stood up four battles her entire life. Loved dad. Has a heart the size of a flaming meteor. The memory fading, the cruel, relentless disease. Alzheimer's dementia, the continual refrain. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Where am I? This is not my home. The dinner is in the washing machine, the Dubliners are on the telly, the cups of tea, the Irish soda bread. The curtains are closed now. I bend down low. I kiss her cheek. Good night, Mum, as I go out into the cold night. I don't want to leave. It's warm here. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>